I cannot believe it. Twitch is actually working. It is actually up and running. Unlike, sorry, I'm just adjusting my shit. Unlike how it was uh, yesterday, because yesterday it wasn't working. It was the exact opposite of working, uh, which was not. Okay, give me one sec to check one thing. Sorry, have to take care of business. You know how it is. You gotta keep your social contacts. This is professional streaming material. Yes. It's just how it is, you know. It's just how it is. All right. It's 9.01, we have exactly one viewer, uh, I don't know if anybody will actually join, uh, judging by yesterday's stream, nobody did, but it could have been because of the bugged Twitch mechanics, uh, we'll blame it on that, because that's how it was, I think the notification like didn't go out or something, or maybe it could be that. People aren't really free during the weekdays to watch me play Dark Souls. But there is something unfortunate. Uh, while I was streaming in the broken Twitch mode yesterday, I did unfortunately kill Aldrich. Aldrich is extremely easy, as you know. Um, and I killed him. Luckily, the footage is not lost. So the stream, the little stream I had stream yesterday, uh, it did save. So I'll upload that. I'll combine it with... Uh, I'll, I'll combine with... Uh, the stream now. And then you will have... Uh, one whole episode again professional streamer right here yes okay i think we should get going hi one viewer by the way um thanks for stopping by uh we're gonna go up i think that's what you, what you gotta do here uh, I have a shit ton of souls as well. I should use these. Um, I was too slow. I was looking at my souls. Wondering what I'll spend it on. Hey, Kirky. What's up? Okay, things are working. Man, this is... Like, my Facebook never pops off this much. Um, Hold on. I also got my arm rest up. If you see me making like weird arm movement, uh, that's why. Because I got to put it up, otherwise it knocks into my microphone, which... Oops! Oh well. See you, Kirky. It's nice to have you here. Nightbot is already taking names, you know. Literally taking names. Taking comments, more like. That's just how Nightbot is. Okay, so what do we need to do here? We need to level up. And then we need to go to... The other place. What's it called? The dungeon. I absolutely hate that area. But we gotta do what we gotta do. Alright. Let's do this. So it could just pump up my HP, but I think this is what we're gonna do. I really want to get to 40 strength at least. 
I mean, 50 would be the goal to like really be able to use one-handed the Dragon Bone Smasher or whatever it's called. That's like the ultimate goal, but I don't know. I still don't know if that weapon is actually any good. Uh, <laughs> uh oh. We have Smoke set. This game shouldn't give me Smoke set. It's too tempting. It's too tempting to buy the leggings and slap it onto yourself instead of this skirt. It's truly beautiful. Uh, let me see if I can come up with some pro. This is pretty good. Hey Nocturnius, what's up man? Hello, hello, hello. I think this is a this is a prime armor set. Oh, where's the the mirror vest? Yes. Excellent. Do we have the mirror helmet? We don't. Uh Sage's blindfold. That's pretty good. I'm the true god of fashion. Uh don't even at me. Excellent. What? Are you kidding me? It's that heavy? Well, damn. I didn't know Smo's leggings were that heavy. Uh, we'll we'll rock this for a little bit. We'll we'll go with this. Hey, Dallas. Hello, hello, hello. I got the whole almost the whole gang here. What's up, everyone? How's everyone doing on this fine Tuesday? Even though it just started raining. Uh, we want, which one is the closest one? I never know my bonfires. This is Church of Yorska. That's that's the closest one. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, again, this stream was supposed to happen yesterday. But again, Twitch was like being a bitch. Uh, but not just for me. It wasn't like an isolated issue. It was for everyone. Okay, how do I get... It is the quickest one. Pissing down? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of... A lot of, yeah, there was some weird things going on. And like AT&T and Verizon, I think. And even T-Mobile went down in the US, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, it's been raining a lot. Pretty much the entirety of June. Like, I gotta tell you guys, I don't know how it is where you guys live, but this June has been absolutely awful weather-wise. Um, yeah, just truly, truly, absolutely dog shit. Um, which is weird. Well, no, actually, May was dog shit as well. And April was a really good one. Which is a little bit strange. But, not unheard of. Yeah, with humidity, it's different. I'll admit that. As someone who lived in NY for NYC specifically uh, for six years, I know humid. And I don't wish that on anyone, let me tell you that. Because it's awful. And these leggings really look awesome. I think I think I'm liking this set. Yeah, for us, that was this weekend. Uh, it was, like, so humid. I went to get food on Sunday. I got out of the car, and it was, like, stepping into a fucking sauna. A Finnish sauna, you know. And I was like, fuck. And you could already, you could already tell that the rain clouds were gathering. 
I'm dealing a lot of damage. 622, that is a lot of damage, isn't it? The damage, but the damage is what you come for. Right, guys? It's what you all want to see. Oh, that still activates. Oh, hello. Fire Witch Armor. Yeah, again, Yank, yeah. It's a little bit, weather's been a bit weird. Uh, and it's fucked up that it's been May and June. Like, you know, you're pretty much everybody's March and April was fucked up because of COVID. And then May and June were fucked up because of the weather, you know. I want a refund on this year. Seriously. Isn't there supposed to be? There we go. Yeah, I want a, I want to re-roll, you know, my stats for this year. This is kind of cheating ass bitch. Yep. Holy shit, that was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. Speaking of, oh man, the poise. Just gotta keep swinging. That's how I beat Aldrich as well, which, to explain to guy, the people again, uh, I beat Aldrich while I was streaming, or I thought I was streaming, but the stream wasn't actually working properly. Uh, so you guys unfortunately missed that, but the VOD is still available, so it will be kind of included in this VOD when it goes up. I don't even know where I am with the VODs this series. I've honestly lost track. Pog, Pog champ. Hey, Idesmo. Yep, weekday stream actually happening. Two days in a row, specifically, because I streamed yesterday as well. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, that doesn't work. It covers up my small armor. Get this weak shit out of here. What about this? Man, you can really fashion yourself in this game. Eh, not the best. I think, I think this was still the best. Yeah, yesterday, yeah, Twitch was fucked up completely yesterday. Hey, Infinite as well. Fashion souls exactly, you know how it is. 10 out of 10. Yeah, so if you didn't get anything yesterday, uh, don't worry, it was a site-wide issue. The stream didn't even work properly. Like, notifications weren't available. The remake, man, like, holy shit. I was just saying in the last stream on Saturday that I cannot believe it's actually happening. Like... I gotta eat my words, honestly, because I was so sure that it wasn't gonna happen. Uh, I was convinced because of, like, I thought, like, licensing issues. I'm so hyped, yeah. It's just, you know, uh, we gotta get past the fucking, like, Mexican standoff that... Uh, Microsoft and Sony are doing with each other, you know, not not announcing the price of their consoles because that's basically what they're doing. Uh, they're waiting for the other one to make the first move. Because, you know, I was saying that it's really going to depend on the price, whether I will think that Demon Souls is worth buying a new console over. Because, you know, I've talked about this before, but uh, I tend not to buy consoles straight at launch because the lineup has, is never that amazing. Uh, and there's like a bunch of other shit. Okay, it's just a backstab just happened. Not during the choir. It's all good. 
Nutting during the choir is fine as long as it's not a children's choir. Then it's a little bit weird. But I don't think I think Demon Souls has a proper choir. Open this shit up. Oh fuck. You deal more damage than I thought. I'm seriously about to get killed by this thing. Oh, look at the poise. And I gotta sneeze too. Just... <coughs> oh, wonderful. That was like a from the heart sneeze, honestly. You know those sneezes that are just like really... <coughs> they just really hit different, you know. Hey Antigrim, what's up? So I got a bunch of like good shit coming, like Demon's Souls. The only thing is, uh, thank you, thank you. The only thing is, uh, is anything exciting actually coming out until PS5 on PS4? Because I was just like looking over what games are coming out um, and I didn't see much. You know, in like things that would excite me. Forza Horizon, that's cool. Can't remember the last time I played a racing game, honestly. Yeah, where the fuck is Elden Ring? Hello. Elden, I honestly thought Elden Ring was gonna come out like this April and I was... I was getting a half chub thinking about it, but then it didn't happen and I was like, damn. You're gonna do me like that? Yeah, seriously, I cannot remember the last time I've played a racing game. Probably Colin McRae's Dirt 2 was the last one. Oh yeah, it's because of George R. <laughs> because of George R. R. Martin, it's never gonna it's never actually gonna come out. Oh man. Hold on. Professional streamer. Ah, wonderful. Ah, that was a... Uh... Yeah, excuse me. Yeah, he, he seems to be working on anything but Game of Thrones. Hey, Corona doesn't cause runny noses. You gotta speed run the coronavirus, you know. Oh fuck, I forgot about this. Listen. Here's the thing that's good about this playthrough. I'm so adjusted to having a fat roll. That this didn't even phase me. It didn't even phase me. So yeah. I have a theory that George R. R. Martin doesn't actually know how to fucking finish the books. And it's not my theory, it's a lot of people's theories. And... Yeah, I, I don't think it exists either. Uh, and you know, honestly... I remember back in like 2015... People were like, Winds of Winter is coming. It's, it's gonna come out very, very soon. And I was like, hey, you know, waiting for the film, the television series is nice, but maybe I should get to reading the series. I'm like, I'll wait until Winds of Winter comes out. And it hasn't happened since then. Uh, it just hasn't happened. Okay, that's a good one. Death Row Last Meal. See, I actually don't know. That's a difficult one.
probably probably like there was one i don't remember which serial serial killer it was uh but he ordered like a bucket of kfc uh mcdonald's apple pie like you might as well just like go out and eat a ton of junk food that's that would be my thing like big mac mcdonald's apple pie a bucket of kfc chocolate you know like all that shit Yeah, the, yeah, that's a Game of Thrones is like the fucking ultimate blue ball. And then you get put into the head ripping off machine, you know, and executed. I just saw this on Reddit. Uh, it was on the front page. This old uh, news clip from The Onion. And they were talking about fucking like the Georgia. No, Ohio. Ohio is introducing. A new execution method, which is the head ripping off machine. You just sit in it and just it humanely rips your head off. Those are always good. I'll find it and post it on Discord. Yeah, the apple pie. I don't know who it was either, but good old McDonald's apple pie. Question Do you guys have the where you live, do you have the fried apple pie at McDonald's or the baked one? Because a few years ago they switched to the baked one here and they quickly reverted that shit. Because uh, it sucked. Everybody wants the fried one. Domino's pizza, grilled peri peri chicken with fries. Yeah. That's a pretty good one. Domino's pizza is nice. So we don't have it here. So I could only get Pizza Hut. A Pizza Hut is okay as well. Oh fuck. I'm about to get shot. I'm about to get shot up. Fat Indian Feast. That sounds good as well. Mango Lassi. Yeah, and then they, uh, and then they fucking limited the budget, right? They added like a maximum value of what you can order, which kind of sucks. You're like f f fucking with the dude. Yes, there was a dude that ordered a single grape. Yes, I remember that one as well. It's pretty good. One grape. Yeah. Season 8 was a little bit, yes, it's a hard no for me. Uh, I pretend that it didn't happen, honestly. A single olive, oh, that's okay. Single olive, single grape, you know. Oh yeah, they stopped it, right. <coughs> okay, now we're getting suspicious. Yeah. Honestly, season 5 is when that show started going downhill. If all the books come out, which, to be fair, uh, it is extremely unlikely that it will come out. But if they, if it does, I'll. I mean, the whole series, like, uh, was the last one called "The Dream of Spring"? I, I might read the whole thing, but until then, I'm not gonna like blue ball myself. I don't know about the lore. Oh shit. Actually. That's you babies. Yes. Listen, I've been blue balled once with uh, the King, King Killer Chronicles. 
Oh yeah, yeah, those things. Yeah, I know about those. Those weird looking things. It's uh, the experiment of... Is it Pontiff or is it uh, Osiris? I don't know. That's making them. So yeah, I've been uh, cocked by a, blue, a book series before, so I ain't gonna let it happen again. I am uncockable. We'll get the shortcut. I feel like I'm like ripping through this. We're only 26 minutes in, seriously? Alright then. A bullpog, exactly. This game has good lore, yeah. Bloodborne is the best at it. Superior Bloodborne lore. It's like the ultimate. It's really one of the only media pieces that actually got uh, Cosmic Horror correct. It's like very, very difficult to make Cosmic Horror. And then Bloodborne managed, except for the part like the only thing that isn't that accurate is like you're not really meant to be able to kill uh, cosmic horror monsters and in Bloodborne you kill them with like fucking saw spears and shit but still you know it's gotta be a game like you can't just make a game where it's impossible to beat the enemies because they're alien gods that would be a little bit you know that would be a bit shitty Anyways, one more enemy to conquer. We got this bonfire. I don't remember, I was doing Ziegmeier's or whatever his name is quest, right? I think I was on that shit. <laughs> Excuse me. And it's like, you know what? I always want to say screw this guy, but... We are gonna screw this guy. Not like that. Yeah, Zieg Ward. I always get them confused. Look, look at that float. That floating shield, though. I produce the greatest anti-gravity field you can imagine. All right, cool. Let's go to Firelink. Yeah, he actually turns out to be a good guy and then he got fucking smashed. Yes, he is dead. The asshole who sells ladders. Good thing. He won't be missed. I actually think I gotta fucking... I gotta pump up my vitality a little bit. Yeah, the books are... I've read Lord of the Rings as well. It's an excellent book series. Uh, I like the movies as well, honestly. You're right about the souls oh yeah oh no fuck this was coming together so well in my head might as well use the small ones as well gotta get some int no int this is an unintelligent playthrough. Hmm. 
Exactly. What is this armor? This is Smo's armor. Yeah, this is a, this is the stupid playthrough. Exactly. Yes, can we get minus int? That's that's really what we're pushing for here. This is just I only want one thing. Oh shit, it's really heavy. What if I get completely naked? Yes. I mean, I get how this works. It's like really, what the fuck? Oh, somebody's like a weird light coming through. I get how it works. Like Smo's not really like a weird, weird necked fat alien. He's just inside the armor, you know. How he sees out of this thing, I don't know. It clips through the sword, that's the main problem. Again, it's all coming together though, don't worry. Uh, we are going to... can you give? Yes. Shout out to the Nightbot hate in the chat. Poor Nightbot getting bullied by people. It's just how it is, you know. I feel like this looks a little bit too stupid. Um, I'm not using my shield that much. Oh, hold on a second. Nightbot rules. Exactly. Pump up the Nightbot morale. Didn't I promise I would be using... I do, yes. I promised I would be using uh, Great Shields, didn't I? And I just realized that I can use... I can use this. Hold on, we gotta get off the Smo hype wagon in a little bit. I mean, for a little bit. Because we need to get on the Great Shield hype train. An emote of my face? Uh, maybe. I like the King Krill King Fuck it, that's difficult to say. King Killer Chronicles. Uh I liked it actually. Um I I will say the first one is better than the second one. The second one was a little it gets weird towards the middle. Uh, but they're good. It is a, to a tongue twister, like King Killer, King Killer Chronicles, yeah. KK Chronicles, that's way easier. Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. Whatever, we'll get the items first. There are some good ass items here. Look at them. Okay, everything just goes flying. It's pretty good. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, great shields might have their benefits. I'll admit. Did you see how he, this dude fucking bounced off my shield? Um, Kirky coming through with them tough questions. Probably 
still probably go private parts like uh as bad as getting a dick paper cut sounds i think an eye paper cut would be a thousand times worse so hell no to that exactly that's my logic as well there was a movie I don't remember what it was. It was like it, it wasn't a big movie. It came out a good while ago. I think it had Forrest Whitaker in it. I might just be getting my shit confused. But it's like these dudes like not dudes, but all these people from different professions get invited to some job uh and they get a test and they come in and they each get a pencil and a piece of blank paper and it kind of is more about how they go crazy you know trying to figure out what the test is and in the end they want to get information out of one of the guys and they threaten to eye paper cut him oh fuck okay I was just about to say we are in trouble. And we were. What is that movie called? It's bothering me that I don't remember it. I think it it was Forrest Whitaker, wasn't it? Uh, give me a sec. Test blank paper movie that's that's my google search it's an existing the exam that's it did it have forrest whitaker though it did not why do i think it had forrest whitaker uh the exam that's what it was if you want to see eye paper cuts go see the exam it's pre pretty good movie uh fight Havel or dark wraith I, I'm pretty sure I'm dead either way. Uh, pretty sure most of us are dead either way. But yeah, you ca you probably could uh, outrun Havel. Wheel of Time. See, that's the one I've... I know about the Wheel of Time, but it's, like, so daunting. Like, how many books is it? It's, like, a ton of them. And it's, like, you know... But I guess that's kind of the point, isn't it? The journey. Why am I... What am I doing? I have a great shield. Fourteen, okay. That's a lot. Honestly, that is a lot. I think the pro strat here is to get the gargoyle aggroed, yep. Not get these other ones aggroed. The ladies. Or get this one lady aggroed and kill her. Fourteen, holy shit. And they're not short, you know. Yeah. Because if I remember, from what I heard, the, the Wheel of Time series... Oh, fucking hell. Goes through, like, centuries, right? Are you... You've got to be shitting me. This game and, and its lack of a poise mechanic. There we go. Cool.
And then you, one of the chests is a fucking mimic. That's a real ripoff, isn't it? Are both of them mimics? They're both mimics. That's a double ripoff. Oh fuck! Okay, that was. <sighs> Do you see how lucky that was? That was insanely, insanely lucky. Gin tonic in hand, nice. Yeah, I don't drink during the weekdays. It's more of more of like a self-control thing. I know, I know. I've never made them. Honestly, the reason is because uh, because of the covenant-specific items. Like the covenant-specific items are such a pain in the ass to get in. Uh, either of the games or I mean for either of the like magic classes that it's just really you know I'm dedicated to the YouTube and all that but the idea of uh, farming for like eight to ten hours to get I don't know, like proof of conquered kept or something like that is just it's too much ain't nobody got time for that as the early 2010s meme goes like seriously although to be fair I heard that you know Dark Souls 3 has a mod similar to like Daughters of Ash that kind of changes the game and one of the things I specifically remember them mentioning is that they added easier ways to get like offline ways to get the Covenant items Oh yeah, and the other thing, the other obvious reason is that I don't like the PvP in this game. I would almost be willing to, you know, do PvP, but I'm not good at it, and I don't like it either. Hey, Leafing Tree, how are you? So that's kind of the other thing going against us. Welcome, exactly, it's it's shit like that, you know, like. Some is just a bit ridiculous. Let's get to 20 vitality. I feel like I should have gotten the... Like, Havel's Ring when I had the chance. I'm pretty sure I used the Stray Demon Soul. I think. I did not. Yeah, you had to, like, do a hella... Mmm, I can go for Havels. <coughs> Excuse me. Where? Oh, there it is. See, I still cannot. That's how heavy this thing is. I still cannot. Okay, then, for now, it doesn't matter, honestly, because I like this armor set. Oh, but maybe we can go for something normal looking. Uh, I don't have anything normal looking. We're still good. We're still good. Hey, hey, we actually look like a warrior. Nice. Okay. We've done the meme armor, now it's time to go serious armor. Let's go back. Right, sometimes it's good to go for normal fashion. Beverages, just H2O. When does it, is it in frame? Yes, it is. Someone just knocked into my mic. Mm. Yeah, H2O only. Exactly. I only do super elite serious playthroughs. I don't have gloves. Let's see if I can. Still good to go. And we'd need like the elite knight. 
All right, we're still good. I mean, to be honest, the knight armor looks pretty good in this game. Not as good as the elite knight armor. Look at the look at the lack of damage he just dealt to me compared to the damage I dealt to him. Yep. Things are going pretty badly for him. God, the clipping is ridiculous. Exactly. You know that 100% of people who have drank water in their lives have died? It's a true statistic. I cannot believe I forgot that. This is toxic, right? It's toxic. Fuck. Now I'm in deep shit. Literally. I think this is deep shit. Luckily, for us. I think I have something to offset it. Maybe a divine blessing, but... I never used those, so we might as well go for it. Yeah, it's a sad statistic. 100%. Water has 100% fatality rate. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Divine Blood. I have one. Fuck it. We're going for it. It's like using an elixir in Final Fantasy, you know. Sometimes you just gotta go for it. Hot <laughs> toxic. Exactly. This shield looks insane. Can we just point that out? Oh, and these enemies are awesome. Give a raise to the person who designed these guys. And their moveset is fucking cool as well. Oh, did I just get grabbed? I'm about to get eight. Eat shit, bitch. Do I like soda water? Yeah, I do. I like it. It's pretty popular here in Hungary, yeah. People like their like their soda. Honestly, I like seltzer. Uh, like the seltzer is different. Hey Forge, what's up? You're not that late. Well, actually, okay. I looked at the time, but no, we still got like forty minutes left. So yeah, soda is pretty popular here. I'm I tend to go with regular normal water most of the time is that the only thing that's here hey uh have i fallen to my death uh on this playthrough Man, that breaks poise. Oh yeah, about that. Speaking of breaking poise. Oh shit, what is he doing? No, okay. Thank you, thank you. Glad you guys are enjoying the stream. What do you call your soda in Hungary? Well, it depends... If you mean like soda like Coke and Sprite soda or like sparkling water. Because we just say... Uh, hold on. Thank you. The jump. Uh, it's Buborekos Viz. That's a tongue twister for you. 
how do I have this? How do I have the old cell key? I don't know. I, I felt my death. Maybe. It's just, it's literally just water with bubbles. And then we have, what do we call like soda? See, I'm getting like so confused with all like the American phrases. I call soda soda. Like that's how I call it in Hungarian as well. And people look at me weirdly when I say it. Because uh, sometimes, and this is legit. Sometimes I translate English phrases literally. Because I literally don't know them in Hungarian. Because, uh, you know, I spend more time living abroad, especially when I was a kid. And some of the things I just don't know, you know. All right, Infrared. Thanks for stopping by. Checking in on the night shift. Hey, Jam, what's up? Glad you could join, even for just a bit. Uh, I think we can go back. Pretty much cleaned house in this area. And we got the quest line as well. The run is going great, actually. Like, these past 50 minutes have been progress filled, to say the least. Yeah. Soda, yeah. Me. I, I, I say soda, yeah. I know some people say pop. Uh what else is there? Fizzy drink, that's the that's the UK expression for it. But the Hungarian word for it is Udite. That's the umbrella term, you know. <laughs> New Coca Cola, exactly. It's the tastiest, so tastiest soda. All right, let's do this. Let's do this, boss. He's pretty easy too, and we'll have Solaire as well. Not Solaire, you know, Ziegward. This actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, you call it pop. Yeah, it's like a regional thing. Steamed hams, you know, and all that. It is, yeah, definitely. And this guy looks cool as well. I like Yorm. Right. Just go grab the sword. Ah, uh, there it is. This is this is like specifically a lesson in why you should manage your inventory. All right, Grim. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the stream. We'll talk. I did, yeah. Ward's hammer. That was like a combined build with something. Yeah, it's very cool, but again. I mean, this is more like a... Uh, story boss I would say the only problem is it feels kind of hollow if you're not doing the quest line oh shit was I not fully charged I wasn't yeah the boy's getting fucked pretty hard can't lie I'll let him deliver the final blow it's only fitting alright and back to my superior chad sword right here 
Am I gonna get teleported away? I should be. Tray, definitely getting the tray one. Uh, I like digital stuff as well, but you know, uh, I gotta, I gotta hold on to my physical media. Unless the only r reason I would reconsider if it's like Nuke Skywalker. Thank you very much for subscribing at tier one. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much and welcome. I had a drink with him. And I'd have a drink with you as well, Nuke Skywalker. And all the other people who have subscribed and commented and all that, you know. So yeah. Uh, I tend to hold on to my physical media. It's just... You know, sometimes it's good to actually buy a game and have it with you and actually own it. Because, you know, that's like the big argument. Uh, is that digitally you never actually fully own your game. Can Solaire help you? There is no... Solaire ain't in this game, unfortunately. It would be nice if he were. Yes, that's the thing, like, for perfect example. You don't actually own... Because Spotify is different, because that's a streaming service. Uh, that's different, but... You don't actually own a lot of your digital media. You know what? This is how confident I am. That I'll do this boss fight right now. Just a, sco a cold stare from the armor. Again, the only reason I would reconsider if if the digital version was like way way cheap, uh. but even then, I'd I'd probably not go for it. There is no pricing on anything so far. Again, they're still doing the Mexican standoff with Xbox. The rumor I heard is uh, 450 to 500, but it didn't specify. I mean dollars, uh, dollars uh, for the PS5, but it didn't specify whether it's for the digital version or for the actual disc one, probably the disc one, I'd imagine. I don't know if people are willing to pay a lot more than... ...500 bucks for a console. I mean, that was a classic mistake that PS3 made. That Sony made it way too expensive. Five hundred pounds? Isn't that too expensive, though? To me, that seems too expensive. Okay, yeah. See, this is the problem with this boss fight. That. He can't really dodge away, and he still, she still, she, she still deals a lot of damage. There's a tongue twister for you. But so far, ouch. Oh shit. Did you see how much I was blocking there? Yeah. It's too easy. It's too easy. I knew I was right to be overconfident. Listen. I might have... 
had a few hiccups on this no death playthrough, but we're really going no death right now. Yeah, those Apple phones, man. Kind of crazy. All the premium smartphones when you think about it, really. Same, yeah. I didn't have one right when it came out, but pretty soon. I got one for Christmas. And everybody called me an idiot. And this is very tempting, getting 40 strength. But I think we'll keep it balanced a little bit. All right, Havel, Havel's ring, fuck it. Yeah, probably same. Christmas noob. I don't even remember which COD was the most recent at that time. Actually. Yeah, really, probably two, right? Modern Warfare 2. It's 2007. That was... Oh, shit. That was my knee on the table. It didn't hurt. It just looked like it did. Ouch. Yeah, that's a... That's... Feels bad, man. Type status, you know. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, yeah, people roasted me for owning a PS3, but the PS3 was actually a pretty good console overall. I mean, it definitely... Listen, I'll admit, even as a sort of Sony fanboy, that the 360 was superior. The 360 was... Hold on, is my webcam crooked? It's, it's a little bit. Um... The Xbox 360 was superior, but the PS3 was okay. I mean, it was weird to develop on. That's That was the kind of rumor going, not the rumor, but kind of the talk around town at that time, is that a lot of people had trouble. That's why it had fewer exclusives, that it was kind of difficult to develop on. See, I would like an iPad, honestly. Only because of music stuff. Like, Apple has fucking good music production apps. Especially on the iPad. Like, really, really great. Like, very intuitive and all that. Uh, but I don't know. Like, see, if I was doing that, I would really want to get the iPad Pro. And that thing is so expensive. Yeah, PS3 was massive. The OG, see, I had the OG one initially. And then the OG one died. Uh, and I, I fixed it just long enough to get it working so that I could transfer my data to this one. I mean, the one I have now. Yeah, this is a nice scene. I like it. Yeah, the iPhone generally, again, it's been... It's been this way. Yes, it was. Right. Put the chicken breast next to it and you'll have a meal by the time you're done gaming. I think that was the time when it died. I was home. Uh, I don't remember when. Because it died after I went to New York. And probably it was uh, one of those New York summers. Or it was fucking humid and I had it running and it cooked itself. What was I saying? But other than that, it had no technical issues. To be fair, my 360 cooked itself as well. I My original 360 had the red rings. The classic red rings. God, that does a lot of poise damage.
Yeah, the, it is the like again. It's always been a thing uh, since the dawn of time that Apple is better at like music editing, photo editing, and all that. Very again, it's the intuitiveness. You see, the thing is, they only introduced the fix it for free stuff later, though. At least from. Holy shit. We are making a tactical retreat. <laughs> they stole the con. <laughs> Damn, ice cold. The dude was. The dude fixing it was probably. Uh, fucking happy. Sorry, you got timed out. Too bad, so sad. Nightbot really is like being a bastard, and that's why I kind of like him. GG Nightbot. We should like start a Nightbot kill counter. It's just how Nightbot is, you know. Pretty funny, I gotta admit. I stole your card. <laughs> Damn. Excellent. I had one. Because I got a second Xbox. Uh, which also started dying. And then it was already out of warranty. So I couldn't get the free fix, except, and this is why it's nice to live in Eastern Europe, there was a company in Hungary who would like reinstall the warranty into the 360 so that it looked like you, it looked like you just bought it, like the warranty seal. And so that's how I got it exchanged. Since the Master System? Damn. I have a Master System. Genesis, specifically. That's what Nightball is, exactly. There's no denying. But, you know... Sometimes it's funny to laugh at the kids who get into trouble. Even if they didn't deserve it. I did that too. Listen, I all the any red ring fix you can think of, I've done it. Specifically the idea was to wrap it into a towel and then put the hair dryer in it. Cause it was caused by some uh I don't know, it was like some glue coming loose. And the idea was that you would uh, remelt it. And you know what? It, the, it worked for a little bit. But then it died again. Yeah, it was a soldering issue. Yeah, you're right. Game Gear. See, I never had a Game Gear. Game Gears were not a thing here. Uh, as far as I remember. Honestly, the first handheld I can remember is the Game Boy Color. That's quite a story, you know. I was like, fuck, like five, six, maybe. And we went to the supermarket with my mom. Cora, it was. You guys, probably, if, some, if you're from Belgium, you know what Cora is. Cora, Cora, I don't know how it's pronounced. But we had that here. And I went, we went. And I saw the Game Boy Color. And I begged my mom to get it for me. And then I think my birthday was coming up. And I got the Game Boy Color with... I think Catwoman... I think Catwoman was the first game. And maybe Turok. I think, yeah, I think Turok. 
which is a fucking difficult game, the two-day Turok game on Game Boy. I couldn't get past the fucking third level of that shit. It was ridiculous. And then I got the Game Boy Advance later, which was... That was a Christmas as well. I got Metroid Fusion with it, which was such a good game. Like, Metroid Fusion blew my mind when I was a kid. The Battle of the Great Shields. <laughs> yeah, that's a tactic. Really, you're just buying it for yourself. Because they get bored with it quickly, hopefully. And then you can actually play it properly. This is quite a battle, isn't it? That was quite a battle. <laughs> yeah, you can... That's the thing, like, you can really age yourself with what consoles were around uh, when you were little. Yes, I... Actually, my Game Boy is right up... You can't see it. But it's right up in that cupboard up there. Still have it. Still functions. I can hook it up anytime. It's an X. I really love the Game Boy. It's probably one of my favorite consoles as well. Second favorite. I think PS2 is still my favorite uh, overall. But GameCube is a close second. That shit was also... When I got Metroid Prime for GameCube, like... I mean, my mind was really blown because Metroid Prime really had like they really paid attention to like all the environmental effects and all that like really when you think about when that game came out which is I think 2001 it really does look amazing Atari 2600 Damn, that, now see that is an old console honestly yeah, Prime was the shit. I love the wood paneling on the 2600. But I also have a Commodore 64. Right there, under my PS4. Uh, it works as well. And I have the games which come on the cassette. And I don't even know how they fit a game on a cassette, but... They did it somehow. It was the 80s. So yeah, uh, Prime, you know, like when your glasses or I mean your visor would fog up and you could see like rain or when you killed the bugs, you would see the kind of bug juice splatter and then it would like come and wipe it. I was like really blown away, which was then hella copied by Republic Commando. Don't know if you guys remember. Oh, there's two of you? I ah, fuck that. Oh yeah, I, I always forget. You're right. I always forget to set it. I really try remembering next time. Because it's like a setting where... Not, not on Twitch. It's an OBS setting, I think. I got killed. If you, if you didn't notice, I got killed. It is, I think, yeah. That was brutal, yeah. The Tamagotchi, yes. It is. Republic Commando was probably the best shooter. Uh, what are some other really good Star Wars games? I mean, we had, of course, Battlefront 2. Not the new one. Uh... The old one, of course. I don't. It's not that difficult, from what I know. I could always like do the kind of not the cheap way, but kind of the cheap way, which would be to record to let uh, let the chat. I mean, the stream replay play and record the chat. Fuck. Getting like destroyed here. 
when I don't have stuss. <laughs> I feel cheated. That that didn't feel nice. Yeah, Coter. Yeah, that's a good one as well. That's up there. Uh, in terms of like flying games, probably X-Wing Alliance. That's a good one in terms of like if you were looking for more like the simulator route. But <laughs> GG's. Rogue I really like Rogue Squadron as well. Um especially Rogue Squadron 2. That's like the superior Star Wars shooter. It's the fucking transforming monster. Yeah, Kotor is really good. Uh, man, they made some good games back in the day. And they make good ones now as well, but... You know how it is. Maybe it's just nostalgia blindness, but... I don't know. Yeah, there was Star Wars Starfighter, two of them. But no, at first it was Star Wars Ty Starfighter and then Star Wars Jedi Starfighter. Those were okay, but Rogue Squadron was like the... Yes, memberry, member berries, exactly. Do you remember? Yes, E.T. Good old 2600. I mean, it's more amazing. The more amazing thing about ET is that it managed to crash the entire video game industry. I think that's more amazing than like burying it in the desert. Oh fuck! Hold on. You gotta take off. All right, Jam. Thanks for stopping by, man. Glad you could join for a bit. Yeah, for quite a bit actually. See you next time. Oh man, this guy's really. Ugh. Why is he so fast? Need one with better frost resist. God, this is. Oh, did he just fucking. He just anti estus me. Which is a dick move, but I'm just gonna let it run out. Great shit lo does look fun. Let me see if there's one which has better... Lightning... Uh, no, that's actually... This one's pretty good. Yeah, they are. Good old member berries. Golden Sun. See, that's one people always mention, and I never played it. I have it on something. What do I have Golden Sun on? Maybe I just think I have it, and I don't really have it. It's very possible. Like, why would I have it? Well, thank you. I really appreciate it. Believe me. If I was a billionaire, streams would be hella free. And they'd be... There'd be a lot of streams, honestly. Become an IRL Twitch streamer. Show that billionaire life. Alright. 
That was an epic miss. Oh yeah, doggo cam, of course. Chrono Trigger, that's a good one too. Now all these classic games. I have the I have the SNES Mini. Speaking of classic games. Oh, that is a mimic. Oh, it's one of these mimics. I thought there was only one of these in the game. These weird mimics. I didn't seriously just do that. Of course the fucking Dark Souls 2 mimic would have Dark Souls 2 hitboxes. Seriously. They kept the fucking Dark Souls 2 hitboxes. Oh shit, that was a lot of damage. Adaptability god. They were smart to get rid of that, that's for sure. That was a top tier idea. Actually, before we go here... We'll go here first. Exactly. Don't have Miyazaki around, like things just turn to shit. Do you see how I just like straight up killed him? The one behind me. This guy is annoying too. Yeah, firebombs is probably the way to go. Sure to equip it. Talk about inventory management. Did I just get hit by something? I think I did. That dealt a lot of damage. Oh shit, am I out of stus? I'm out of stus. I missed arcades as well. Man. Arcades were the shit. But you know, like, I don't know how it is in your countries, but here we have a couple of like, you know, like these like new type arcades. We have a pretty famous one, it's called Barcraft. Uh, and it's basic. It's not really an arcade. They have consoles set up, and it's also a bar. I mean, I think that's the closest we're gonna get. Yeah, Marvel vs. Capcom. The one I always remember playing is Tekken. I think Tekken. Maybe five, four or five. I don't remember. That was the shit. Oh, and yeah, I recently found it on YouTube. I looked it up. Uh, what was it? I don't remember the name of it, but you played as like helicopter gunners. And all I remember is that the, like, it had like this big ass machine gun uh, that you would like really have to like lean on and rumble like crazy. It was like a helicopter game. That was that was some top tier arcade game. I don't know what. Just top tier arcade games. LA Gunner, that's the one. That was fucking awesome. And the classic 
My favorite arcade game was uh, Ocean Hunter. Man, Ocean Hunter was the shit. I remember there was this classic, like classic, uh, sketchhead childhood moment where, oh look, this guy is a little bit proactive. Uh, I was in Italy on holiday and there was an arcade and uh, I was playing Ocean Hunter and this random Italian kid got in next to me and went second player and we got fucking far we got to like the last level where we ran out of uh quarters and it was like you know like classic arcade moment you're sitting there you know some kid joins i didn't speak a word of italian he probably didn't speak any hungarian english skills were almost non-existent for both of us probably pretty much non-existent but we still managed to like trash all these bitch ass sharks in uh ocean hunter i'm upset too honestly with house of the dead too right and i don't know if you've ever played the fourth one i think that was the last one they put out which had like the uzi that that was a sick one. Uh, the third one had the shotgun, and then the fourth one had the Uzi, which was really cool. So yeah, I did let Havel die, who was supposed to be our only friend, but. It's like, what can you do, really? Two is genius. Like, two has the best voice acting ever. Uh, and no one can convince me that it doesn't. That is like a real ESL game. <laughs> I was. <laughs> yes. That was like, listen, Daughters of Ash is like a source of worry, you know, honestly. Especially when I have no HP. It's just how it is. A lot of the times in Daughters of Ash, that's just kind of what happens. That curse was a motherfucker. I'm pissed about that because I feel like once you're dead, you shouldn't be like retroactively cursed. But there I was with that on me. And 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 when you know, like listen, when the Capra demon spawned, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. We'll go endurance. It's a pretty good one, that playthrough. I think that one turned out well as a playthrough. I'm interested to see if I do the Dark Souls 2 and 3 versions as well, how those will go. Oh man, I think this wraps up this stream kind of perfectly. Listen, we just trashed like a big por portion of the game. Like, I didn't think we'd get this far, uh, but this really is easy mode, I gotta admit. That would, I'm not gonna let that happen. I'm killing Capra. I'm going back there and killing his bitch ass. Yeah, this was perfect actually. How this stream uh, worked out. Oral D. Maybe it works on him as well. I don't know. But still. I'll wrap it up here guys. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for all the comments. It's been nice chatting to you. These weekday streams I definitely... Back, I'm definitely back on the grind, so I don't know, Thursday, yeah, Thursday, it's a bot, yeah, those those bots are everywhere, they comment on every YouTube video, 
unless he's like the one genuine guy that actually just wants to be friends if yeah whatever see you guys peace out